Hello, this is Kent Blackhurst with Navigator Business Solutions. For the next few minutes, we're going to go over how Business by Design handles Make the Stock in your production area. As we do so, we're going to look at two individuals. One is Richard Stone, who's the production manager. And he does a great job at planning the production so that there's enough in stock to meet the demand without having a surplus that would tie up the company's working capital. Then we have Bob Menson, who's the sales manager, and he's taking a customer order today and he's going to release it to manufacturing on an item that uh, is made to stock. And this time it's going to be an outlier because the customer is ordering a lot more than they would normally order. So let's get into the software so that we can go through this scenario. Right now you're looking at Bob Menson's screen, who's the sales manager, and you can see up here these are his individual work centers that he works with. Well, right now he's on the phone with Silver Star, and so he's going to go in and create a new sales order for them. And the first thing that you'll notice here that as I start to type in Silver Star, the program is trying to guess what company it is that I'm typing in, and it selects it for me. And then it puts all the information that's pertinent to Silver Star here on the screen. Now, I'm going to write a description here for a cylinder. And the company is giving me their external reference number that I can use as well. And I'm going to add a row here for the cylinder. And again, all I need to do is start typing in cylinder. And you can see that the product number as well as the word cylinder comes in on the screen. Now here you can see that it's available to promise. It looks good for us to be able to deliver it that day. But in this case, Silver Star wants to order 100. I can look in here at the available to promise, and it looks like there's a problem there. There's insufficient, and so I could deliver 60 right now, but I'll have to wait until the 22nd in order to get everything out to them as they hoped. So that's not a problem. I'm going to go in here to submit this and release the order. And from a sales perspective, I've done everything that I need to do. Now I'm going to log in as Richard Stone, who's the production manager. Okay, now I'm logged in as Richard Stone, and I am going to look at the demand planning and look at the plans that we have out there. And I can see a number here, some are in preparation, others are active. And what I'm going to do now is create a new demand plan and give it a description for cylinder. And now it's asking if I want to enable multi-level planning. I want to do that. And the unit of measure that I'm going to be looking at in this case is each. It's also asking for the different statistical forecasting methods as well. I'm going to select yes here, and here it's going to put demand in month, or I'm going to, in this case, do it in week. And uh, I'm going to look at a horizon of 13 weeks in the future as well as 13 weeks in the past. When that's all done, I can go on to the next step, and I'm going to select the planning criteria. So these are the different characteristics for the multi-level demand under this form. But I can also look at the procurement type or the planning procedure, the unit of measure. Also, if it belongs to a certain planning group, I could put that in the plan as well. And I'm going to select next once this is done. And now it's asking me for the products that I want. So again, here, I'm going to add in a cylinder. It's going to be the customized trade one and the planning area. I could include this for Amican heating, but if I wanted to, I could extend by the selection as well. Once this is done, I'm going to go to the next step. And suppose I wanted to look at a number of variants. Maybe instead of just the average, I want to be able to do the weighted moving average. So I can now select that over here and have that be my default. For other planning, maybe I want to be able to put a seasonal trend, exponential smoothing as well to add that into the calculation. I hit next, and now it's time to put in the time parameters. 
Again, at the beginning, I put in a 13-week horizon. I can put a release offset in here as well by week. Maybe I want to look at it for the next two weeks before I put everything in stone. So at this point, I'm going to hit next, and I'm going to review everything that I put in. It looks good, and I can finish. I can also finish with activation, which I can do at this point. Now, the other thing that I could do here is go over the customer demand. I'm going to look at the orders that were created today so that you can see this. I, as a supply planner, know that this is something that I need to be able to run. And in a nutshell, that is make to stock. Thank you for your time. For more information, please call us at 877-395-4727. Or you can always email us at info at nbs-us.com. Have a great day.